Welcome back. We are here in Orlando. The sun's setting and uh, less than 48 hours away from kickoff between Iowa State and Clemson in the Cheez-It Bowl here in Orlando. Now, before we get to some of the more fun things, let's show you just the quick flights to get down here to Orlando. Now, obviously, we're not the only Iowans making the trip today, Colin. We saw more than a handful of Iowa and Iowa State fans. Plenty of fans, I think, in the airports, airplanes flying down, and there's a lot of excitement just to be down here in Florida for this big bowl game. Absolutely, and you caught up with some of those fans earlier today. First bowl game ever, so pretty excited about that. We got to the point in life where kids are all grown up, got their own families, so we had no, no plans, so we said, you know what, let's do it. May not get another chance, so. What's the excitement level for you right now? Um, for me, it's uh, like over the top. Fa family event type of thing, you know. So uh, we were at the Notre Dame game. We were expecting a little better game than that. Got off to a horrible start. Uh, hoping this one's a totally different deal, but we'll find out. I think we have a good chance. I, yeah. I really do. And I'm not backing down. I think I'm still giving our team a good chance to win this. Now, while we were busy getting down here along with the rest of Cyclone and Hawkeye fans, well, the Cyclones themselves had a little bit of fun today with some kids from the Orlando area. The kids are fun. Like, I love I love doing this stuff, like um, hanging out with the kids, seeing them have some fun, and uh, getting to know the other players on the other team, too. You know, it's, it's bigger than football, and so just the, the community aspect of it. Like, I, I love being out here and doing that stuff. It's really good, especially for the for the kids. You know, we, we come out here, we, uh, we're giving these we're giving these kids that probably that look up to people just like us, and we're, we're out here spending time with them and making sure that they're a priority, not just us. So once again, less than 48 hours from the Cheez-It Bowl, kicking off inside of Camping World Stadium behind us. Tomorrow, we'll hear from the head coaches in this matchup, Matt Campbell and Dabo Sweeney. Of course, these two go back a little bit. Clemson actually came in and studied Iowa State's defense over the last couple of years. Iowa State taking a page or two out of their offensive book. So it'll be fun to see kind of how this one shakes out. Yeah, it's going to be fun to see, you know, what Clemson actually brings to the table with their two, you know, offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, and how Iowa State plays to that. And then, of course, that game's Wednesday. We don't leave Thursday. We're staying another few days because we've got the Citrus Bowl here. The Iowa Hawkeyes taking on the Kentucky Wildcats in that one on January 1st. We'll have all the coverage for you right here on Local 5.